Ashford Elementary. I'm an EIP teacher here. I teach grades first grade all the way through fifth grade, some reading segments and math segments. But the lesson that you are about to see is a group of second grade math students, and they're working on the skill of subtraction. They have been working on subtraction for several weeks now, but they were um, showing the need for remediation and learning how to borrow in subtraction and understanding how to take from their tens. So I brought it back down to the um, hands-on level using manipulatives and using the base 10 blocks to really understand what they're doing in subtraction. And this is the second lesson where they were using base 10 blocks to learn uh, about subtraction. I hope you enjoy the lesson. All right, boys and girls, raise your hand if you can tell me what we were working on yesterday. What skill were we working on yesterday? Piper? We were doing subtracting and we were using base 10 blocks as our strategy to help us. Daniel, is base 10 blocks our only strategy for subtraction? No, that's just the one we were learning yesterday to help us understand what was happening in subtraction. Because we were running into some problems yesterday where we had, let's say, two ones and we needed to take away five ones. And if you only have two, can you take five from it? No. no. So we were figuring out how we needed to borrow from the tens place value. Raise your hand if you remember doing that yesterday, if you were here with me yesterday. Very good. Okay, so our skill today, we're still working on subtraction, and our target, what we want to be able to do, is subtract a two-digit number by another two-digit number. And remember, that word digit is just a fancy word for... Number. A digit is just a number. number. That's it. So it sounds fancy when they say digit, but it just means a number. So when they say a two-digit number, that's just like this. 23 is a two-digit two number. Two and when we're taking away, because it has two digits, that's right, Lola. And when we're taking away, we're taking away another two-digit two number. Not a one-digit number, but a two-digit number. That's what we were practicing yesterday. Now, can anyone tell me why we learn to subtract? What do you think is the reason, Lola? Because we have to get this on some new tests. Okay, so we do have to do it in school a lot. Can anyone think of a reason outside of school when you might need to use subtraction? Piper was saying if you were a teacher and you had a bunch of students and you want to know if all of your students are here or maybe some of your students left to go to the bathroom and you want to know how many you have in your room, you might need to use subtraction. Very good. Can anyone think of another way you or maybe moms and dads or anybody uses subtraction in the real world? It's okay, London. Well, that's school, yeah. For school, you might have to do it on a test or homework, like Lola was saying. But I'm talking about real world. Let me give you an example real fast and see if it helps your mind think of one. What if I went into a store and I had a $20 bill? I had $20 with me and I bought something that cost $10. And I want to know how much money I'm going to have left that I can keep spending the rest of the day. I would need to know how to do subtraction. Now that's a pretty easy one. We might can do that one in our brain. If I had $20 and I spent $10, can anybody figure out how much I would have left? If I had $20, two tens, and I spent $10, what would I have left? Only $10 left to spend. That's a real reason why we need to know subtraction. Yes, we need to know it for our test. Yes, we need to know it for school and our homework. But the reason your teachers teach you subtraction it's because you're actually going to really use it in your life, in your everyday life, and it's a very important skill. Yes, Lola? Um, one subtraction is if, let's say that you had a lot of loans for the winter, and your friend was smaller than you, and they didn't have much clothes for the winter, maybe, and they had maybe of an even number. Uh -huh. Some of those clothes to the friend. And you're figuring out how 
many you're giving to your friend. Very good example. All right, so let's get started, my loves. We're going to do some problems together today, but we're going to start with Miss Heglin doing the problem. That's called the I do. Miss Heglin's going to do it, and you guys are going to watch, and you're going to help me with your voices. Then, Finley, the next step is going to be for us to do a problem together. We call that our we do problem. And then the third step would be for you to do a problem and see if you can do it by yourself. All right, you ready to get started? All right, so the very first problem we're going to do just, you're just going to watch Miss Hecklin and you're going to help me with your voices, okay? So our problem is 63, take away 17. Lola, put your eyes up here for just a minute, okay? I'm going to let you touch those. Don't you worry. But right now, we're watching Miss Hedlin. We have 63, take away 17. To make things a little faster, I went ahead and built 63. Do you think I did it correctly? Yes. yes. Let's double check just to make sure. Let's count our tens. Ready? 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 40, 40 50, 60. 60. Let me hear you. 61, 62, 63. Give me a thumbs up if you think I have 63 up there. Good. Now, when we're doing subtraction, do I need to build the other number? No. No. We do that in addition. That's what we worked on last week. But, Axel, this week we're working on subtraction, and we only have to build the first number because we're taking from that number. So, Lexi, look up here, my love. I ran into a problem already. I'm going to get started taking away 17, and I'm going to start with my what? My tens or my ones? Tens. My ones, remember? Okay. In case I need to borrow from that ten, we always start with our ones, and I have seven ones right there, guys. But how many ones do I have over three. here? Three. Only three. If I have three, can I take seven from it? No. 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 Who remembers what we do when we can't? We don't take away the 10 because when we say take away, it makes me think you're taking it down here and it's going away forever. And then that's going to change the problem. But Daniel, you're on the right track. We don't actually take it away. We put it down in the bank and what do we get? You get 10 ones. London, remember, you can make an even trade with the bank. You can give them 10, a 10 rod, and they will give you 10 ones. It's the same Thank you, Finley. So here we go. Let me get my ones, my ten ones. How about you count as I pull them out? I'm on three, four, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. Not yet. There's nine, seven, and ten. there's ten. Now, why did I not do anything with these three ones right here, Lola? Because you need those three ones, and you haven't subtracted anything. You're right. I haven't subtracted anything yet. This is still my original problem. Lexi and Piper, if you'll pick your heads up because that's the perfect learning position. When you put your head up, it makes your brain ready to learn subtraction. So here we go. I really actually still have the number 53, Finley, because all this is is a 10. I just changed the way it looked. It's not a 10 rod anymore. Now it's 10 One. ones, but it's still a 10. Let's count and make sure. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is, an oh, this is another 10, so this is really 60. 60. 60. 1, 62, 62. So I haven't done any subtracting yet. But now I am ready. All of that work was to get ready. Now, Finley, can I take seven ones from my number? Yeah, yeah now I have enough. Does it matter if I start with these or these? No, no. It doesn't matter. Count with me as I take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. But what can I not forget to do? Daniel. What do I got to take away now? I did my ones. Now I've got to do my Ten. tens. Very good. So how many tens am I going to take away, Daniel? Just one, one ten. And what I am left with should be my answer. Let's count it up. Let's count it up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. My answer should be? All right. Now you're ready. Get your hands ready. Here's the next problem. I want you to build 45. I already did it. I want you to build it. Right in front of yourselves. Not 
46, not 46, 45. You have six here. Miss Heck, I want you to go 45. Very good. Did you put one back? Good. You have 45? Give me a thumbs up when you have 45. Give me a thumbs up when you have 45. Remember, we're doing this one together, so I need to see when you're ready by giving me a thumbs up. Daniel, Miss Hedlund wants to know if you have 45. Give me a thumbs up if you have 45. Good luck, and scoot back over to your desk. All right, my friends, now, what are we taking away on this problem? 28. 28. Thank you, Daniel. Everybody else, what are we taking away? 28. 28. Are we going to start with our tens or our ones? Ones. 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 Okay, let's take a look. If I'm taking away eight ones, how many do I have here? Five. 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 Can you take eight from five? No. Let's no. see. Can you take eight from five? No. Yeah. No. London, if you have five lollipops, can you give me eight of them? Listen, London. If you have five lollipops, can you give me eight of them? No, we can't do that. It's not possible. You don't have enough. But we really do have enough. We just have to borrow from somebody. Who can we borrow from, Finley? The bank. The bank. Well, in our problem, we call this the bank where we get our stuff. But in our problem, we're borrowing from the, what? the tens, not the ones. The ones are where we have the problem. We're trying to take away eight ones, but we can't. So we're going to borrow from our ten. ten. Yes, Daniel? Uh, but if you have nine ones and you take away eight... That would have worked, but we don't have nine ones. We only have five. You're right, Daniel. If it was a different problem, if it had said nine, we could have done it. But it didn't say nine. We only had five. So we do have to borrow. So everybody, we're going to get ready. Now we're going to use the bank, okay? We're going to take this ten, just one of them, and we're going to break it into ten ones. Are we going to mess with these right here? No. No. We're going to leave them alone. Don't touch those five. No. Don't touch them. No. Not yet. Okay? Take one of your tens and give it back to the bank, and you're going to get ten ones. You're going to do it while Miss Hedlund is doing it. My board takes a little bit longer. One.
Now, what you have left should be your answer. Let's count it up. We have one ten rod, so that counts as? Ten. And count your ones. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What is our answer? 17. Boys and girls, I need you to put all of your supplies back into the middle. And then you remember to take away your tin. Yes, that's what we call the bank. You're right. All right. I will know you're ready when you have your eyes and your ears on me and you have your bottoms in your chairs. And you look ready to do the next problem. That's how I know you're ready. All right, I think you guys are ready to try this by yourself without Miss Heckland's help. Because yeah. you guys are rock stars at this, and I think you're ready. So on the very next problem, London, turn your body so you can see it. Miss Heckland's not going to help you unless you need help. And how do you show me you need help? Raise your hand. By raising your hand. I'm going to walk around and make sure everybody's on the right track. Here is your problem. 52 take away 23. You may begin. 50. Daniel, have you built 52 yet? Where's your 2? Put your hands through your sleeves and they'll make grabbing those tips easier. Oh, Axel's already I'm done. done. Very good. Okay, so what's the next step? Can you take No, you're not re you're not building 23, remember. That's only if we're adding we we do both numbers. What's the next step in subtraction? Two away. We're not taking two away. Look on How many ones are you trying to take away? Do you have three? No. So what are you going to need to do? Uh-huh. So what, you're going to trade this one in, and how many are you going to get? Ten. Okay, go ahead. Ten. Did you remember to take away the tens? Ten. 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 And girls, let's take a look. I got some different answers coming around the room, but most people got the answer. What'd you get? 29. 29. Some of my friends got a different answer, so let's look at why. Everybody, hands off. Let's take a look. Okay, so step one, we had we didn't have enough ones to take away three, did we? We were close. We had two, but we didn't have enough to take away three. So step one was to trade in. Your ten. Your ten. Okay? So I'm going to trade this ten in for how many ones? Ten. Ten. Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. You're counting so fast. Miss Heckler doesn't know how many she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Okay. Now we're ready, Daniel. Daniel, now I can take away three. All that work, and now I can take away three. Here I go. Ready? One, two, three. But then I have to come back over here to my tens, and how many tens do I need to take away? Two. Two. Take away one, two. Two. You should have two tens left, Finley, and how many 
many ones? Oh, nine. Nine. So the answer should have been 29. Please put your base 10 blocks back in the middle of the table. At this time, I'm going to give you a worksheet. It looks very similar to your homework last night, for those of you that did it. One side, Daniel, I'm going to wait until everybody's looking at me so you'll know what we're doing. I need eyes on him. <laughs> London, sit up. If you're yawning, let's try to do that quietly so we don't distract everyone. Daniel, Daniel, push. There you go. Now look at me. Daniel, drop them and look at Miss Heglin. Daniel, we can separate them later. Miss Heglin wants to give directions. Can you please take your hands off the base 10 blocks? Put your eyes and your ears on me. On one side, you're going to do the problems. On the other side, it's going to be homework for tonight. So you're just going to do this first side. There are four problems. The base 10 blocks have been made for you, and you're going to take from it. You may need to regroup if you don't have enough, just like we did today. If you need to actually use these base 10 blocks to help you, you're very welcome to do that. They're right there in front of you if you need them. So you are going to work on this. If you need these for, to help you, you can use them. But if you don't need them, that's okay too. Yes, Lola? Um, I hold up. Um, I you did six times okay. okay. There you go. You may get started. Yes, Finley? This is not your warm up. This is your subtraction work. All right, get started. You may get started. Oh, you can just sit my pencil over to the side. I didn't know you brought your own today. All right, boys and girls, when you finish your worksheet, raise your hand and let Miss Heflin come see. If you need help, with your worksheet. Raise your hand and let Miss Heglin know. Okay. Do we have enough ones to take nine? No, so what do we gotta do? Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna do? And do what with it? No, we're not gonna put it back. We're gonna break it into what? You're going to break it into ones. Go ahead and ask this out and break it into ones. How many ones? Okay. Now can we take nine? Go ahead. Very good. All right. Now how many tens do we need to take away? Go ahead. going away. Look, it's right here. You just broke it into ten ones. Now can you take nine from it? Okay, go ahead. Daniel, Miss Heglin will be right there. Did you cross out nine? Okay, very good. Now, how many tens are you going to cross out? Huh? Not in the book. How many tens are you taking away? So cross out two tens. Okay, right, let's count up what's left. Ready? Very good. That's your answer. You may begin. The next one. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see. All right, so you were trying to take nine from this, and you couldn't do it. So you, you X'd it out, and you made ten ones. I see where you made your ten ones. Now you can take nine. I only see an X on two. We need to cross out nine of them. Good job. Now, how many tens can we cross out? 